At the Family Partnership, we envision a community, a Twin Cities, where every child and every family, regardless of income and origins, is able to reach their full potential. Um, my name is Yuri Harper, and um, I've been coming to the Family Partnership since October of 2014. JJ was in our local um, school in the pre kindergarten program for about a month and he just was having a lot of issues in the classroom. I'd get calls, um, which at that point I had received so many calls, like since preschool, um, suspensions of a three and a half year old, which to me is just ludicrous, um, and really got to the point where the preschool really had to admit we don't, there's really nothing that we can do um, for him. If you think of it like a puzzle, uh, pieces like good health, good mental health, good education, safe streets, safe neighborhoods. And sometimes some of those pieces are missing. I was really, um, felt almost defeated. I was really discouraged um, about my child's education and his, and his well-being. I was nervous. Um, I cried a lot of the times. Um, because I just didn't know how to help him. They either don't feel enough sensation, so they're seeking out, slamming their bodies into the wall, touching everything, rolling around on the floor and being overly physical, or they're registering too much, so even the slightest touch is almost painful and very irritating, and then they're lashing out and hitting and kicking because it hurts them. And that's where my fear came from. If someone knew that my child needed extra support, then what does that say about me as a mom? What did I do to him? You know, what was done in utero? Which the family partnership also helped me with that education. You know, there's nothing that I did or didn't do for him. This is just how we're made and some people need extra support. And that's where the family partnership comes in. We help people develop the skills and tools to fill in those pieces, but we can't do it alone. We need everyone to come together to fill in those pieces of the puzzle. James has made tremendous progress. Um, we also spent a lot of time um, working on impulse control and some of the executive functions that happen in the front of your brain. I'm a lot more hopeful. I feel a lot better and a lot more hopeful about his experience when he starts kindergarten. Um, I know that I made the right choice with um, him not going to regular pre-kindergarten and, and going to preschool here at the Family Partnership. He's improved with his social skills and his ability to communicate um, his needs and his wants, um, with controlling his body. Um, just being able to express himself and be a little bit more tolerant. Um, so we start every session by playing the stop-go game. There's a, a race car road on my wall and he drives the car and then I say stop and he wants to get to the finish line but he has to stop and I can only stop for a few seconds and then I say go and so we practice that impulse control of waiting and going before we sit down to um, doing the fine motor work and at the beginning when I was seeing him it was probably under a minute where we would do some fine motor work, then we'd have to take a break, and then we'd do some fine motor work, and then we'd have to take a break. But now he'll sit the whole session knowing that at the end he's gonna get to play a game of his choice on the iPad, but he's able to delay that gratification. He's able to use that impulse control. He's able to, um, he still gets frustrated, but not as frustrated. We're not throwing things, we're not ripping things. Um, you know, he can use his words to tell me that he's frustrated or to tell me that he doesn't like how it works. The education that I receive here is tremendous. I feel like the counselors that JJ works with are super supportive. I feel like they're really rooting for James and for myself. Um, they teach me ways to help him. Um, James has some identified sensory issues. The, the progression that he's made with his um, sensory goals has been amazing. Um, his therapist really teaches me how to 
help him at home, you know, outside of the classroom. And he's really invested in, um, in his mom and wanting her to be proud of him and in his teachers and in Miss Emily. Um, and so it's really sweet. He's thinking about those people while he's trying to control them himself because he wants them to be proud to, you know, that he's doing a good job, that he's doing the right thing, and that he's making the right choices. And he really is more and more every day. JJ really enjoys the family partnership. He talks about all his time, um, all the time about his experience with his um, therapist, um, Miss Sandy and Miss Emily. He um, always talks about what they do in the class or in the rooms with him. Um, he always wants to meet with them, and I think that he really enjoys the extra time and the extra attention. And I think that really helped him flourish. The relationships with his um, therapist really help him, helped him flourish. I get more, I feel like I get more out of helping clients like Yuri than, than she will ever know. It's very gratifying to be able to, um, to, to, to impart my knowledge on her and help her, help her child and then watch him blossom, which he is, into um, the best person that he can be and it's very gratifying for me. I believe that every child deserves to grow up in a loving family surrounded by a caring community. And we can do this. We are the missing pieces. And we are better together.